exactly are sea monkeys and are they real or fake? Well, sea monkeys are an artificial hybrid breed of brine shrimp and they are a real aquatic crustacean. And if cared for correctly, they can live up to two years. And the purpose of them, well, they're pets. Best way to aerate your sea monkey tank if you don't have the bubbler tool is to pour the water back and forth five to six times from their tank to a clean container. And make sure the other container hasn't been cleaned using soap. You don't have to use the sea monkey tank if you don't want to. But if you are going to DIY your own tank, there are a few things that you need to know first. When you pick a tank, you want to make sure that it's made out of plastic and not made out of glass. Sea monkeys need a super consistent water temperature to stay alive, and that's just not going to happen with a glass jar. Great! So now that you've picked a tank, you need to figure out your measurements. Now there is a science to growing sea monkeys, so this part is super important. If your new tank can hold the same amount of water as one sea monkey tank, then this is how many sachets you need to use. And if your tank can hold twice the amount of a normal sea monkey tank, then you need to double the amount of sachets that you use. And if your tank can hold three times the amount of a normal sea monkey tank, then you guessed it, you need to triple the amount of sachets that you use. Coloured gravel is awesome, but not for your sea monkey tank, as it can pose a massive risk to your sea monkeys. Your sea monkeys can swim under the gravel and get stuck and die, so for that reason, I recommend not adding it. All of the sea monkey tanks hold the same amount of water, which is 283 grams, or for the Americans, 9.9 .9 ounces. Sea monkeys should never be kept in direct sunlight, such as in front of a window, so if you want your sea monkeys to thrive, put them somewhere where they get natural light, but they're not exposed to any direct sunlight. Sea monkeys should be kept in water where the temperature is very consistent, and they grow best in room temperatures above 22 degrees Celsius. They do need light, but do not put them in front of a window as this will cause the temperature to rise and fall too dramatically. The reason they need light is because it helps the algae to grow, and this is what they eat. When you start a sea monkey kit, the water that you use needs to be at room temperature. The easiest way to do this is to grab a bottle of distilled or pure water and leave it in a room with the most consistent room temperature. After a couple of hours, the water temperature will be the same as the room temperature and you're good to start your sea monkey kit. Just like all living things, sea monkeys grow at different rates, so the best thing you can do for them is keep their water temperature consistent, only feed them once a week, and the most important thing you need to do is be patient. Tap water is different around the world. For example, in some countries you can drink tap water, in other countries you absolutely cannot. For the best results with your sea monkeys, I recommend using distilled water. And if you can't find distilled water, try to look for pure bottled water that has no add-ins. Distilled water is water that has been purified by vaporizing and then condensing the vapor, resulting in super clean water. You can get it in the water section at your local supermarket. What to do when your sea monkey tank water evaporates? Step 1, get a bottle of room temp distilled water. Step 2, open it. Step 3, gently pour it into your sea monkey tank and that's it. At the back of your sea monkey tank, there is a little wave line. When the water level drops below that line, all you need to do is get some distilled water, take the lid off the tank and top up your sea monkey tank. All of the sea monkey tanks have a water line. On some of the tanks it's a black line and on other tanks it's more of a clear line. Sea monkeys are a living animal and they're also a pet, so they're no different to having a cat, a dog or a turtle. If you're not ready for the responsibility that comes with being a pet owner, you're not ready for sea monkeys and they're probably not the best choice for you. The lid in your sea monkey tank does have little oxygen holes in it, however it's best to keep the lid on to help protect against little nasties like dust from ending up in your sea monkey tank. This is the sea monkey's bubbler tool and you use it to aerate your sea monkey tanks by gently pumping bubbles into the water. It doesn't hurt them, it actually helps them live longer by putting oxygen into their tank. The sea monkey's bubbler tool only comes included in the magic castle and the Mars tank and unfortunately you can't purchase them separately. If you're still wanting to get one though, I do have a link to a lookalike bubbler tool in the Amazon link in my bio. It's best to aerate your sea monkey's tank with your bubbler tool every day to give them oxygen. However, if you skip a day, this is also fine. You should aerate your sea monkey's tank at least once a day. And each day, you only need to pump air into the tank five to six times. You don't need to clean your sea monkey's bubbler tool often. However, if yours are getting grotty, just fill it with water and shake. And make sure you don't use soap, as this can kill your sea monkeys. Sea monkeys are fed sea monkey grow food. This is a green powder that when added to water will grow into algae, which is what the sea monkeys eat. You only need to feed them a tiny scoop once a week. First time you feed your sea monkeys is five to seven days after you've added packet number two. Now the reason why it's incredibly important to wait this period of time is because when your sea monkeys first hatch, they are tiny. And because of their small size, if you feed them before the five to seven day mark, it will cause them to suffocate and die. This actually happened to one of my friends, so I would highly recommend not adding the whole food packet at once. If you do, it'll suffocate all of the sea monkeys and your tank will end up looking like this. Sea monkeys only need to be fed once a week. You use the sea monkey's feeding spoon to scoop a tiny amount of sea monkey grow food. Then you take the lid off the tank and gently sprinkle it in. Once you're done, don't forget to put the lid back on. Every sea monkey kit comes with grow food and the sea monkey's feeding spoon. When you feed your sea monkeys, you need to use the small end and not the large end of the spoon. If you use the large end, it will overfeed your sea monkeys and they will suffocate and die. 
Sea Monkey Grow Food does not expire, however I would recommend keeping it in an airtight container to keep it dry and fresh. This is what a new packet of Sea Monkey food looks like. After a while it will look like this though, so the best way to keep it fresh is to find a small airtight container to store it in. This will keep the food dry for your Sea Monkeys. The Sea Monkeys Grow Food can be emptied into a container as long as it's airtight. However, I find it easier just to roll up the bag like this after use, put it in a container and that's going to help keep it super fresh. When you feed your Sea Monkeys the Sea Monkey Grow Food, it is supposed to slowly sink to the bottom and eventually it'll turn into algae, which is what the Sea Monkeys eat. It would take you a very long time to run out of sea monkey food because you use such a small amount. For comparison, here's the spoon next to a Pringles can. But if you do run out of food, you can click the link in my bio and you can order more. The Sea Monkeys Plasma Packet is formulated so that 50% more sea monkeys will grow and thrive. The first time you use it is 10 days after you've added packet number two, the sea monkey eggs. With the new feeding spoon, add three heap scoops of plasma into your tank. And if you have the old spoon, use one scoop from the plasma side. Then once every two weeks, you can add one scoop with the new spoon or one scoop with the food side of the old feeding spoon. The orangey green stuff at the bottom of your tank is algae. When you feed your sea monkeys their grow food, it turns into algae, which sea monkeys love to eat. If the water in your sea monkey tank is green or cloudy, it means you've either fed them too much, too often, or a combination of both. The best thing you can do in that situation is to stop feeding them altogether until the water naturally clears up. Murky water in your sea monkey tank means that they have enough food and don't need more. So if the water is still murky seven days after you've fed them, make sure you wait until the water becomes clear before you feed them again. Green or murky water in your sea monkey tank means that they have enough food and that they don't need to be fed. Once the water goes clear again, that is an indicator that they're ready to be fed and if you feed them while the water is murky, there's a good chance they'll die. This is what clear sea monkey water should look like. It's very normal for the water to be murky after you have fed them and it will clear up all by itself, usually within a week. The little white dots that you see floating in your sea monkey tank are a collection of sea monkeys waste, dust and debris that might have found its way into the tank, uneaten food and deceased sea monkeys. It's definitely not bacteria though so you don't really need to worry about it. I've had this sea monkey tank since July 2020 and this tank since August 2020 and during this time I have never changed or cleaned their water and my sea monkeys have been completely fine. When you start your sea monkey tank, you'll notice that a lot of algae starts to develop in your tank. You don't ever need to change the water because if you do, you're ultimately taking away their food and your sea monkeys will die. So leave the algae where it is and definitely never clean the water. Cared for correctly, sea monkeys can live up to two years. However, they reproduce a lot, so you'll probably have them for a lot longer than that. Yes, sea monkeys can get pregnant. Male sea monkeys will use the clasp above their head to latch onto the females and this is how they breed and reproduce. You can tell a female sea monkey is pregnant because the egg sac on her back will be dark. Yes, you can absolutely breed your sea monkeys and the best part is you don't even have to do anything. Once your sea monkeys reach their teenagehood, they'll start breeding all by themselves and once they start, it's pretty hard to stop them. OMG, I just caught the moment my male sea monkey latched onto the female to breed. They are real animals, so you can't stop them from breeding lol. Our sea monkeys have a pouch on their back that is clear when they aren't pregnant and dark when they are pregnant. This is what sea monkeys are supposed to look like when they're breeding, but sometimes they get a little bit confused and latch onto the wrong part of the female. This usually happens when male sea monkeys are teenagers and they're still getting the hang of things. You've had lots of sea monkeys hatch, but then the next day they've disappeared. This means that they've died. However, this is completely normal because sea monkey babies have a very low survival rate unless their water is kept at a consistent temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. To ensure your sea monkey babies survive, keep their tank away from any direct sunlight such as in front of windows and only feed them once a week unless their water is cloudy, then wait till it clears up before you feed them. Super easy to tell what gender your sea monkey is because male sea monkeys have little horns above their head and female sea monkeys have a dot on their back and they don't have any horns. This is a baby sea monkey and this is an adult sea monkey. As you can see, they start very small and can grow up to one to two centimeters long. This is the easiest way to know what gender your sea monkeys are. Female sea monkeys have a pouch on their back that is clear when they aren't pregnant and dark when they are pregnant. Whereas male sea monkeys have clasps above their head, which look like tiny little horns. Sea monkey babies are so small that it can sometimes be hard to spot them. However, once they're fully grown, they can grow up to two centimeters long. If you want your sea monkeys to live long, happy lives, don't get them a fish as a roommate. They can't live together because fish will eat and kill your sea monkeys almost instantly. Artenia nyos, otherwise known as sea monkeys, are an artificial hybrid breed of brine shrimp that undergo something called cryptobiosis, which is a state of lifelessness which allows them to survive in extreme dryness. This is why when you buy sea monkey eggs, they come in powder form and when added to water, they are able to hatch and come to life. Artenia nyos, otherwise known as sea monkeys, are an artificial hybrid breed of brine shrimp that undergo something called cryptobiosis, which is a state of lifelessness which allows them to survive in extreme dryness. This is why when you buy sea monkey eggs, they come in powder form and when added to water, they are able to hatch and come to life. 
When you get a sea monkey's kit, they actually come in a dry powder form as eggs. This is because sea monkeys undergo something called cryptobiosis, which allows them to enter a state of suspended animation when they are dried completely or deprived of oxygen, almost like hibernating. And then once the eggs are added to water, they are able to come back to life. This is what a packet of sea monkey eggs should look like. But if you open your sea monkey eggs packet and they look like this, this means that they've been destroyed by moisture and most likely will never hatch. So the best thing to do is politely contact the place that you bought them or the original sea monkeys company. When you start a sea monkey tank, you add packet number one and then after 24 hours, you add packet number two. If you accidentally add them at the same time, your sea monkeys will still hatch, however, it will take them a little bit longer. So don't stress, just be patient and wait for your sea monkeys to hatch. The sea monkey's water purifier should look like a dry white powder. However, if you open it and it's wet and cloggy like this, contact the store you brought it from and let them know politely that it's damaged. I'm currently doing an experiment to see if damaged water purifier will work or not, so follow along if you want to see the results. Sea monkey kits are designed to only be used in a one-to-one -one ratio, which means if you add another packet number two, there's a good chance your sea monkeys will die because this sachet contains eggs and something else that they call a magic crystal powder. And here's the receipts don't have many sea monkeys and are thinking about adding another packet of sea monkey eggs, don't. This packet does contain eggs, but it also contains other stuff, so if you add it again, it'll kill any life in your tanks. Instead, feed your tanks once a week, keep them away from any direct sunlight, and more will hatch eventually. Have you ever wondered what is actually in the sea monkey packets? It's very simple to find out what is in them. You just need to flip over the packet, and all of the ingredients will be listed on the back. I've also heard Google is very helpful. Easiest way to keep the water temperature consistent is to keep them in a place where they get natural light but not direct light. For example, in front of a window would be direct light and on a desk away from windows would be natural light. The best way to keep the water temperature consistent is to get a water thermometer and test the water temperature. This will help you work out where the best place in your house is to keep your sea monkey tank. The easiest way to check the water temperature is to get a mini water thermometer. Most pet stores have them and you can also order them online. Winter can be really tough for sea monkeys, however I find keeping them in the warmest room and also wrapping them in a scarf at night helps to keep them insulated, warm and most importantly, alive. Sea monkeys don't need any artificial light and they definitely don't need a lamp. The lamp that you see me use in my videos is purely so that when I'm filming them, you can actually see the sea monkeys. The rest of the time, this lamp is packed away and the sea monkeys are just in natural, non-direct light. I quite often get this comment, however, whenever I ask if you've actually seen your sea monkeys kill each other, the answer is always no, and that's because sea monkeys are not cannibalistic. There are lots of reasons why sea monkeys die, but them killing each other is not one of them. If you've got two sea monkeys that are connected, that just means that they're breeding. The yellow slash green algae growing in your sea monkey tank is your sea monkey's food, and no, it does not make it smell at all. Sea monkeys will live happily in their tank with no additional things added. They don't need plants, and I personally wouldn't recommend adding them in case it kills your sea monkeys. Sea monkeys are not tadpoles, so they do not turn into frogs. Sea monkeys are an artificial hybrid breed of brine shrimp called Artenia NYOS. This is what they look like full grown, and they definitely don't turn into frogs. What do you think I'm going to say to you? No. Correct. Goodbye. The reason why the name sea monkeys were given to Artenia NYOS is because of their long tails that change in length, depending on how much waste they produce. If one of your male sea monkeys dies, you can remove its body from the tank by using the bubbler tool. Once removed from the tank, you can then dispose of it. If one of your pregnant female sea monkeys dies, do not remove her body as her eggs will keep growing and hatching. If you decide not to remove your dead sea monkeys, this is completely okay and it won't affect your tank or your other sea monkeys. The only thing that will happen is that people that own fish on TikTok will get really angry at you. <laughs> The original sea monkeys are actually an American brand, so they definitely do ship to the USA. To make it easy, I put a link in my bio to their American store, their Canadian store, their Australian store, their New Zealand store, their UK store, and also a link to their Amazon store, so you have heaps of options. Sea monkeys are completely different to owning fish. They don't need a filter or any of that fancy stuff. They just need to be fed once a week and to have their water temperature stay consistent. And that's pretty much it. Rebecca gave up.